Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So, um, a lovely lady asked if I could do a wee step-by-step -step on how to use Canva because she had difficulty finding the images that I was finding. So, that's what I'm doing. So, what I do, and search your content or Canvas right here. I just choose A4 and I choose the portrait mode just because that's how it comes out the printer. So when I'm choosing images to put on, it gives me a kind of idea of the size. So I'm just going to go to create a blank. It might offer you templates, it might not, but I always go for blank because I start myself and then I just decide what to put on it. Okay, so there is my page that will be going to the printer. And here we have, you can search for different things. So your camera roll should be on here as well. Oh, I'm on the computer, not the phone. On the phone that also offers you your own photographs. So I have my A4 page and what I do is... I go to elements and then I do my searching and I literally look for anything vintage. Let's do vintage paper. So I have lots to choose from here. The little yellow crowns is pro. I have Pro because I pay £10.99 a month for it. However, um, they also have a lot of free papers, well, free images. Um, it's just that they're maybe not as good, although, to be fair, this one here looks pretty good. You can spin it round and move it. This here is your transparency. So if you put this down, I put it down to, you could put it down to anything. See the way it's, this helps you layer. So I tend to put it down to about 80. I put everything down to 80 anyway, because I feel it looks more vintage. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'll put a vintage rose on oh I like this one okay I'm going to make this one bigger so that there is just beautiful to download as it is and also I like to the they've got some beautiful frames They have so many images. So there, I, I would definitely put the transparency down on the frame because it's quite overpowering. I'm going to make the flowers smaller so they can fit in the frame, actually. There we go. And then I'll put, I'll put a little cluster thing here. So I'm going to look up um, vintage lace. I love these. You can change the colour of this. So I'm going to change it to. So often as well, it will give you the colours that you're working on. 
so you can match it in a bit but I do like now with this lace I am going to put the transparency down a lot because it's going to help it look more delicate and another favourite is vintage wallpaper do you know actually I might even put this back so if I position backwards there you go I might even make that a wee bit bigger now and I might tilt it as well there so vintage wallpaper vintage wallpaper has it's actually I think out of them all it's my favourite now you could do like vintage pink wallpaper, vintage bird wallpaper, it just, I didn't want you. You don't fit in with my colour scheme. And often if you choose something as well, Canva gets to know you and it will start making recommendations. Victorian wallpaper. Look, there's a lovely one. I'm actually going to put that behind the lace as well. I'm going to tilt it. Oops, wrong thing. Sometimes when you've got the bigger ones. They get in the way. There you go. And I think we'll put a little bird on it. We'll keep Victorian in and see what happens. They have a little bird cage. You get a lot of old photographs as well. No, I kind of like them on top of the frame, actually. I want to make them a lot less. They've got some beautiful bird pictures on here, so they do. Just giving them a little slight tilt. And then I'm just going to save. Okay, so quite often you can keep that and then start a new one. You just go to add a page or go back to home and set up another one, which I use the phone. So I tend to just I remove all them from the page and then set up a new one. Um. But they're all as easy as each other. Okay. 
So this is page two. We've got page one and page two. So what I like to do here, right, so we've got Vintage Bird up. I love this. I have this one. So I like to just collect images on my page that I like. I had this little postage stamp and I try and think to myself so A4 this is like two A5 so that's probably about A6 so obviously your postage stamp you're wanting quite small for printing out so I just try and make it quite it looks very small there but obviously for printing out you want it to be a usable size I love this one as well I've used this one aren't they gorgeous oh I've given myself two. Oh, that's another thing as well like you can do is if you hit there, it will give you another one. You can also flip them. See here where it says flip? So I can flip. So it's going in the opposite direction. And you can flip it vertically as well. Which in this case wouldn't be very helpful. Because they're upside down. But I think for the... I think flipping horizontal is nice because... Then you could have these two on your page, you know, and there would be a, it would give an ornamental look to your page because it's got them facing each other in a way that you would do if you were setting up your mantelpiece or a shelf or something. Um, so that's a way to get images, asti and elements for everything here. Elements is where I find it all. I am going to go in and add a page and then we'll go over some printing. Not printing, printables. Okay, so let's start off with a vintage. Let's try garden. Mm. Oh, that's a lovely scene, isn't it? You probably want to go landscape for this. Actually, I am going to go back to home and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose A4, but I'm going to choose it in landscape, which means that going across the way is wider. Oh, they've got a lot more templates. Templates is a design canvas came up with. So there's like a lot of its food menus. So it would be easy if you worked in a cafe or something to make your menu because you can just edit those menus. However, we're making our own. Now, we're sitting in templates just now. We'll go to elements. Now, everything you've used recently is on here as well. Do you know, I love this. It's it's beautiful. There you go. That is stunning. So I am going to look for vin vintage flower. 
I love these purpley flowers that come up. See these ones? They actually sat in really nice there. Do you know that? I am going to put the transparency at the back down because it is getting in the way. I'm going to go for 75. And I'm going to make more. I'll make three. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'll sit it back a wee bit, make it smaller. And I'm going to flip it horizontally. And I'll maybe put another reset. Just peeking in at the edge. Probably can't even see that, but never mind. These ones, <gasps> love them. They're gorgeous. And you can tilt them as well. Right, let's have a little vintage girl. Victorian. Oh, I like these two. Oof. She's not happy, is she? Oh, there's another one, look. She looks slightly happier. I'm going to position her backwards behind this one I mean you could keep hitting backwards and she disappears but we don't want that because there's no point in putting her on or you could have that wee flower on top of her but we don't want that either and I'm going to take her down. I'm sure it was 70 and then I was actually wanting to find a little girl to put skipping down here but we've got a lot of photographs look at this oh look at that wee girl oh no she's too modern vintage lace again I'm going to search for Victorian lace actually Oh, look at this. See, this one's got a white border around it and that does happen, but all you do is you bring it in. Push her backwards. There she is behind those two. And transparency. Because she's at the back, I might just give her a wee bit more. There we go. Because I like the way that you can see through them. Anyway, I'm looking for something to put behind them. That's nice. But it's got the blackness. That's nice. And I kind of want this 
Right, let's change the colour as well of it because it's quite a... It's not a pink I really want. It's too modern. So you can also add overlays which will help with blurring. So this here, you can change the colour of it. So I am going to make it a white type colour. And then go to the transparency, bring that down as much as you want. See it's still, I think less is more in this situation. Same here, 30. And then you can have areas that you just choose. So like this here, for example, I would, you could even put that on top of the photographs just to give that a wee bit of added. It's a bit square though. I would bring it in actually and tilt it more. Do you know, I would maybe bring it in in line with the there, and then I'll do the transparency. Bring that right down. You can also do things where you can adjust the like contrast and everything, but. I kind of like it as it is. Right, let's put in some vintage butterflies now. I think tilting them is important as well because it, it does look like a more natural picture. Okay, so I have printed them out, what we made in Canva. I feel the bird could have been more transparent. It's definitely a focal point. <laughs> Um, and I've got the mirror slightly off. I'm actually not used to using the computer for this. I do everything on my phone, but I had to go onto the computer to be able to video the screen of Canva, which is why I've done it on there. I actually don't see it as well on the computer as I do on the phone. But anyway, they are great and I love this. There'll be a junk journal coming out soon with this on it. I wish I'd put these wee flowers a wee bit up here maybe. And it could have been like a sort of triangle of focal points. But I like this being here. I like that there. And the wee overlays. Especially adding it on there because it's really giving it a distressed look. Um, the other thing is as well, like... Round the outside, you can put like a, a vignette on it. It's called when you go into the adjust category and it will make it darker. It's, it's as if it's darker at all the outsides, gradually coming into the middle. And that adds a vintage look to it. Also, you can also like, see what I was doing with the laces, this lace doily. 
you could have had that you know like lace a lace trim right down the outside as well and it just helps give it that you know as if it's framed you can do so much and I only know the tip of the iceberg kind of thing. There's a lot that I could be doing with Canva that I don't do. And generally as well, I don't tend to make up these layered ones. I I tend to, I would maybe have the paper, the frame and the flower. But these are the sort of things that I would do separately and then add on as clusters. But to be fair, this... I really love this. This looks really good. Um, I do feel they they don't join in quite as well as the picture. But it still looks good and I'm still going to use it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you soon and take care.